Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Rob with Lilbot Dyes. Today uh, I'm going to take you guys through the process that I've come up with for uh, what I'm affectionately calling the Lumpy Swirl cell dye. Um, yeah, this glitch was done in that style and so is this uh, Joel Freeman Gator 3. Um, yeah, so we'll go over that things you'll need for uh, the lumpy swirl uh, are some three-in-one silicone in the yellow bottle, the yellow bottle, yellow bottle, um, and I've got some in this dish here. You'll need a pin for poking where you want your cells, um, and you'll need a used flow trawl bed that you don't want to use anymore uh yeah so that's this one i've had this one covered up from earlier um when i save a flow trawl bed i i put uh plastic wrap right touching the bed right over the top that seals it in just like you would uh you know if you wanted to save some some paint and then uh, when you're ready to use it just peel off the top and away you go um, I'm just going to use this skewer to see how deep this is. It is not at all deep. Um, almost done basically. So I am going to add in a little bit of color. Um, yeah, it can't hurt to add a little bit of color. Uh, and it'll add a little bit of liquid too. So we'll fill it. Line of purple. Don't have to add much. Um, this was a uh, kind of a rainbow bed from earlier. Blue. Uh, what comes before that? Green. Some purple there. Green. Okay. Doesn't have to be clean for this method. As you'll see in a moment, um, this is just to add some 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 color here. Okay, and I didn't add much, but hopefully that's enough to make this deep enough that the disc I use won't bottom out. I'll use something without a lot of dome. Um, so to get the swirl, all you do is you're going to rotate your pan. around like this. Eventually you'll end up with a swirl. Pretty cool already. Um, and then we're gonna pick a line to follow out of here. I'm gonna follow this red streak here. I think that's a good one. And I'm just gonna start poking the bed in the red here. And don't not space too close together. Red 
that's all you really have to do. So now that it's, uh, we've poked a few in there, put the oil aside and I'm gonna turn on the lamp and uh, get these cells developed. Uh, when I did this before, I had kind of a warm bed to start. So hopefully it doesn't matter that this one's just room temperature, but uh, I don't think it should matter. Just gonna put it right over the top. And let it rip. And I'll just let that develop for a little bit. This portion here is sped up at about 15 times speed. It took uh, about seven minutes to get this development to happen. See how she looks. That's pretty rad. That's pretty rad. Um, I'm gonna develop it a little more, but I love it so far. I love it. All right. Okay, I love it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put a disc in that. Uh, probably, I have selected something flat. Um, I think I want the whole thing. I'm gonna do the Envy. gonna send it. Okay, it's in there. At this point I just heat it up and here are the results. So here's the result. Uh, turned out pretty spectacular, pretty true to what was in the bed. Um, maybe a little bleeding came out of the, uh, the purple, but that's kind of to be expected with uh, that color. Um, yeah, it turned out really nicely. It may have overheated it a little bit. You can see there's all these little micro bubbles in places, and that's just from the, um, the liquid got hot enough that it started uh, forming bubbles. So a little too much heat for a little too long maybe, but um, it's hard to argue with the, the saturation. It looks pretty good. Um, so that's how you do the lumpy swirl. Uh, if you like this video, leave a like on it. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Um, if you got any questions or comments, leave a comment below. Uh, yeah. Hope to see you all next time. Until then, happy dying. See you later.